Hi everyone, Jeff Davis here from the Greenville County Republican Party. I'm the State Executive Committeeman and one of the big initiatives we have up here in Greenville and one of the only reasons I ever got involved in all this political stuff was about real school choice. Last week there was a hearing on the ESA to find it unconstitutional. It has been found unconstitutional twice before back in 2020 and unfortunately this court hearing was a disaster. Chief Beatty opened up the entire hearing saying, I guess they didn't hear us the first time we, when we heard this case four years ago. But you know. This court four years ago in Adams versus McMaster applied Section 4 to a private school voucher program. Obviously, we weren't convincing then, were we? <laughs> Uh, Under know, that's yeah, persist, you know, money special interest is persistent. But one of the things that people haven't been aware of is there actually is a school choice bill that has already passed the South Carolina Senate. It's $55 million and it's sitting, it's called the uh, S-285. It is the PACE, also renamed the ACE Scholarship Bill. It actually has $55 million of a real school choice, independent free market school choice. And some people haven't even heard about it because all the, all the hullabaloo has been about this ESA or ESTF. That they, they rename rename their things. But the the pay scholarship bill, S two eighty five, is sitting right now in the House South Carolina House Ways and Means Committee. Chairman Bruce Bruce Banster has refused to move it uh, since uh, I think it was March 28th of last year when the, the Senate passed it and sent it over to the House. But it's fifty five million. Of that fifty five million 15 million goes to special needs children, which is what we got involved in this, you know, you know from our heart. That's $11,000 per child, 15 million for special needs children to go to a private uh, a school that can best serve them. That's autism, uh, uh, dyslexia, and other special needs. 15 million is for low income children. That's 200% of poverty. That is $11,000 per child, much more than what this ESA is, which is 6,000, but that's 11,000 per these low income children to actually be able to afford to get into a, a private school that could actually help them. Um, so that would, that would be a big boon for, for those children. There's 10 million for homeschool. And that homeschool is really exciting. It's very unique out there. The Homeschool Legal Association approves of this methodology using these independent and nonprofits, so there's no issues. You've heard the big stink that's going on now that the ESA is trying to be expanded uh, to include homeschoolers, and everybody's up in arms about that. They don't want that. But the Homeschool Legal, Associ uh, Legal uh, Defense Association has approved this particular methodology that's in the uh, S-285, but that's $1,000 per homeschooler. So it's, it's an ability or way to help a whole lot of homeschoolers get involved in that. We're big believers in homeschool. And then the final tranche is $15 million for general kids. That actually is, they unfortunately, they limited it in the Senate, but it's 400% of poverty. That For a family of four, that's $120,000. I know that's that still doesn't cover everybody. Uh, we would like to have that increased. I don't know why Senator Shane uh, Massey, you know, the House or the Senate Majority Leader uh, reduced it right there at the last minute, so we didn't get it done. But what we're trying to do is get that you know, this, this is real school choice, and we're trying to get this passed. We want everybody to know about it, be aware of it. Um, call your South Carolina House rep and ask them why they're not moving this. I think what's going to happen uh, if this ESA bill is found unconstitution, unconstitutional, we'll have more information about it. And you can watch those court hearings yourself. It was a, an interesting hour and seven minutes that I watched, and, uh, and it was brutal. I would hate to be on their, their side of the, of the fence on this. But uh, you know, if that is found unconstitutional, S-285 is the solution. It's the only solution that's kind of left. It's the granddaddy of school choice. has been around for nearly 30 years in the United States. Uh, 350,000 kids a year get these types of scholarships. Georgia has a similar program. I think they, they, they do $120 million a year. So this is a, a small program, $55 million relative to Georgia and some of the other states that are out there. But it's real exciting. And if anything, we ought to do both. You know, we need to pass S-285 because this can be real school choice, no constitutional issues. It's actually been found, the program has been found constitutional by the U.S. Supreme Court. So even if it got sued in, in court here in the state of South Carolina, you never really know what to go on in our courts. Um, it would, uh, uh, all you gotta do is hold up this U.S. Supreme Court case and uh, they'd have to dismiss it. So we uh, want to let everybody know about it. 55 million, a real school choice. So get out there, call your South Carolina House rep, get them to pass S-285, the PACE slash ACE scholarship bill. Thanks for your help and we'll have more information on this soon. Thanks.